Time to get some common sense with Craig. Craig Bolanos is the founder and CEO of Wealth Management Group, here to talk about beneficiary blunders and what are some mistakes that investors make when trying to pass on their wealth to family, friends, or charity. Oh, I love discussing this. It's such a simple yet eloquent topic and one that does not get the attention it nearly deserves. You know, we've seen beneficiary blunders time and time again. So let's discuss the most common ones so that no one falls victim to them. And number one on my list is so simple. It's just failing to review your beneficiary designations. Please pull your beneficiary statements, your 401k, your IRA, your life insurance, and make sure that you haven't excluded someone. I mean, as an example, did you inadvertently certainly leave off your youngest child because you completed the forms prior to he or she being born. Are you divorced, separated? Have you ensured that you're not leaving money to your ex-spouse? Those are just easy things to check on the beneficiary form. Number two, not naming a contingent. If your primary beneficiary predeceases you or dies at the same time with you, the monies have to go somewhere. So be sure to name a contingent to ensure that monies don't get tied up into probate and divided by the court, they should go where you want with specific intention. And number three, naming a child. How can naming a child be a problem? Well, sometimes people will name the oldest child. They'll just name what they consider to be the most responsible child and expect that adult child to share the money with their siblings. Now, surely we trust that they would do so, but you have to understand that there's specific gift and tax considerations, which makes that a poor choice as well. Craig, those are terrific tips, but what are some of the lesser known issues that our viewers need to know? All right, well, let's take this up a notch and go advanced. Number four on my list of beneficiary blunders, per stirpes versus pro rata. I know what you're thinking, what does this mean? Well, it's by far the most overlooked portion of the beneficiary review. If you desire for your money to go through the bloodlines, from you to your best friend in life, your husband and wife, and then to your kids, and then to your grandchildren, you're gonna wanna use per stirpes. The problem, many IRA and 401k providers have beneficiary forms that use the alternative version pro rata. Don't let that be you. Look under the hood and get some help. Number five, a blunder could be naming a beneficiary who has special needs. How could that be a problem? Well, if someone has special needs, they might be qualifying for some form of government aid. And if you're gonna leave them money, you really need to make sure that you leave it to them through an SNT, a special needs trust, because it would be a shame to have a good act inadvertently disqualify that person from receiving some form of government aid. And then number six on my list is simply naming your trust without being careful relative to the beneficiary of your IRA or 401k. Unless your attorney has specifically drafted that trust to accept and handle qualified retirement plans, look through provisions, see through provisions, it's in congruence with the newly formed SECURE Act, you might run into a little bit of trouble, don't let that be you. I'm Craig Bolanos, the CEO and founder of Wealth Management Group. If you wanna connect with us, go out to our website, investwithwmg.com. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.